Well, it's time to show you my July graphic novel haul. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Uh, now on this channel, I do comic book unboxings, reviews, haul videos like this one, everything in between. So if you're interested in that type of content, then you should hit the subscribe button, then hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Now today, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. I've got a ridiculous haul for the month of July. Some items that like just kind of came in just in the nick of time, like just at the last minute, things that were just super impulsive buys. Not super proud of that, but just some great books. Now, before we get into the haul, I do have to shout out our channel sponsor and give a huge thanks to Organic Price Books. Now, Organic Price Books, is the best place to look for collected editions of all types, trade paperbacks, uh, collected editions, oversized hardcovers, omnibus editions. And speaking of omnibus, there's a brand new month of comic releases available for pre-order right now, including, I need to do a separate video about this, but including a brand new 2022 reprint of Gotham Central. That book, it's over there on that shelf. The second shelf all the way you can't see it but it's on the shelf that book was such a whale i've seen that book sell for as much as 300 dollars. i got mine for just at cover price you can pay even less if you go ahead and pre-order it's just 65 dollars after years of people wanting that book i'm so excited for you um kind of jealous honestly but you can pre-order uh, that book. You can also pre-order The Question by Denny O'Neill and Dennis Cowan Omnibus. And the Ed Brubaker Catwoman run is getting an Omnibus. Very, very great news from DC. Just when you thought their collected editions department was wacky. But anyway, go ahead and shop at Organic Price Books. You can pre-order all of those books. And if you use my coupon code, which has changed, my brand new coupon code is BJ Kicks. So use the code BJ Kicks and you will save $2 off every order every time. Or just click the link in the description below and it'll be applied automatically. Now that that's out of the way, shout out to Organic Price Books and we can go ahead and get into this month's haul. I've got books from OPB, I've got books from other places, I got books from my LCS. Let's just jump right in. So I got an indie pile, a DC pile, and a Marvel pile. We'll start with the indies. So um, and you guys know the rules. This is collected editions that I got in, or at least that, at the very least, they came in the mail in the month of July. So first up, uh, Twofer from Amazon. Um, I had heard such great things about this series. This is Bitterroot. Uh, let's see, that glare, man. But this is Bitterroot. I got volume one, the trade paperback, and volume two. Let me tell you, there's a reason this video is so late. Um, I actually started reading this instead of starting to record and I got two issues in and I was like, yo, this is awesome. Uh, so David Walker, Chuck Brown, Sanford Green, uh, Clayton Cowles and someone Renzi. Awesome job. Awesome job. Indeed. Rico Renzi and Sanford Green on the colors. This book is great. You should absolutely read it. Is that backwards? I don't know why I'm looking backwards right now. But anyway, that's Bitter Root, um, volume one. And then here's volume two, Rage and Redemption. So this collects issues six through 10. The first one collected the first five issues. And I think Bitter Root is on number 16 right now. So volume three should be coming very soon. Um, next up, speaking of indie trades, this one, this is We Live, volume one. This one I bought at my local comic shop, Ultimate Comics Raleigh. And I should turn this light down a little bit. All right, I turned the light down so that we can kind of focus a little bit. You can see this better. But I bought this at my local comic shop, Ultimate Comics Raleigh, because I heard such great things about this book. Number one, apparently, is skyrocketing in value. I don't know if there's a TV show or anything attached, but I figured I'll take an afternoon shortly and get into this for a review. Not before I finish Bitter Root, though. Now, next up on my indie pile and rounding out the list, you guys saw this on my uh, most recent mail call, but this it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW Collection, Volume 1. There are currently 13 volumes of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by IDW. I am such a sucker for buying this one because you already know what happens next. Um, so I'm excited to read this and do a retro reviews on it. Um, 
the way this channel works is going to be switching up here shortly. Um, I'm really excited about it, but we're going to be doing a lot more reviews. And so it's going to be a lot more reading and a lot less buying. Uh, but I think you guys are still going to enjoy it. So this is the THB Ninja Turtles IDW Collection Volume 1. And that is it for my indie pile. Let's move on to DC, shall we? So from DC Comics, the first thing we've got up here is Batman the Black Mirror. Batman, um, this is by Scott Snyder with artwork by Jacques. Um, Jacques and Francisco Francavilla. Uh, Francavilla? Uh, but anyway... Uh, the Black Mirror storyline with Dick Grayson as Batman following the events of Final Crisis. Um, I won't even spoil anything. Following the events of Final Crisis, Dick Grayson takes a turn as Batman. And this is the run. This is the 10, 11 issues that made Scott Snyder a huge name in the Batman world. And eventually he takes on a title, the main title, with Greg Capullo and the rest is history. But this is like the source of this iconic cover that I love. Um, and the homie Angel, Angel from the K-Squad sold me this book. Super excited to have it. And I'm excited to read it. It's one of those Batman stories that is a super classic and critically acclaimed, but I've never read it. So that's dope. Next up from DC Comics and Milestone Media, this is Hardware. Volume one, it's called The Man in the Machine. Hardware, originally written by Dwayne McDuffie with artwork by Dennis Cowan. Uh, man, and I mean, this back cover really says all you need to know as far as how the artwork is. And the front cover is dope too. Now this book has been out of print for a long time, but it is still available on Amazon. When I saw this available on Amazon for I think $12, I was like, let me go ahead and add it to the collection. Because I do own all the single issues, but who wants to be digging through a short box just to read a story? So to have this on the shelf and be able to refer to it whenever I want is awesome. And look at this art. These colors by Noel Giddings. Like, it's just great. It is just great. The new hardware series, Hardware Season 1, starts next month. Uh, written by Brandon Thomas. Also with art by Dennis Cowan. That's going to be legendary. Dennis Cowan with Bilson Kevitz inks. That's just... Anyway. Hardware Volume 1. I'm super excited to have this in my collection. And... Um, Quiet is kept. I only need one more Milestone Media trade and I'll have all of them besides Rebirth of the Cool, which is going for ridiculous prices and I don't plan on buying. But that's that. And rounding out the DC Comics uh, haul is Superman, The Man of Steel, Volume 3. So The Man of Steel by John Byrne, Jerry Ordway, Carl Kessel, and John Beatty. I've never read this series. I've Literally never read it. Someone was saying, I was asking people, like, hey, what's the best Superman run to read? Everyone agreed that the best thing to read would be Man of Steel by John Byrne. So I grabbed volume one and then I grabbed volume two and now here's volume three. I think volume four comes out in the next two months or so. So anyway, that's Superman, the Man of Steel, volume three. And eventually I'll do a full Man of Steel read through. I plan on, um, in 2022, next year, I'm doing a full X-Men read-through. I'm starting with uh, Uncanny Volume 1, which will be Giant Size X-Men number 1. I'm going all the way through Jim Lee Volume 2 and probably beyond because uh, I want to read Age of Apocalypse 2. But um, I'm very excited about that. So stay tuned. You'll see that next year. So we went through the indies. We went through the DC. And so far, this is a pretty light haul. I'm liking it until we get to this Marvel section. So... Let's go ahead. Courtesy of channel sponsor Organic Price Books, we got quite a few Omnis that rolled in. So this one, whew, this is Heroes Reborn, the original epic, not to be confused with Jason Aaron's Heroes Reborn miniseries that just wrapped up. So this is from when the original Image founders, Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, uh, Eric Larson. Did Eric Larson come back? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, a bunch of people came back. Not Eric Larson. Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, Jim Valentino, and Wills Portacio took over the main uh, Marvel titles. So Fantastic Four, The Avengers, Iron Man, Captain America. Super dope. Uh, this is the Brett Booth cover for the standard edition. Um, I really want that Jim Lee direct market variant. I might have to like get a custom made or trade somebody or something, but... Heroes Reborn. That's the first book on the Marvel list. Next up. Whew. 
This one I had no idea was coming in the mail, but I'm very excited about it just because the Uncanny Omar spoke so highly of it. This is Star Wars, The Old Republic. This uh, basically collects the Knights of the Old Republic series uh, 1 through 50, Knights of the Old Republic War numbers 1 through 5, the Knights of the Old Republic Handbook, and some other stuff. This one apparently is based on a video game, but tells an original story all its own that is set way before you ever hear the name Skywalker mentioned in the Star Wars universe. So that's exciting. Um, I've just heard such great things, and I love that this is a standalone book, and so I'm glad to have it. Can't wait to read it. Um, although I'm going to have to wait, because my reading pile is insane. But speaking of Star Wars... A long time ago, in a galaxy far away, there was an out-of-print book by Jason Aaron that I really, really wanted. I had the three hardcovers because back then I was like, I'm never going to buy an omnibus. Those things are so expensive. Why would I ever buy one of those? Three shelves later, I'm like, all right, well, I've got a bunch of omnibus and I got these in the oversized hardcovers. What if I could trade someone? What if I could sell these and upgrade? So I sold my three hardcovers for about $60. I went to make the purchase on InStockTrades.com and sold out. And I was like, dang, so now I don't have the Omnibus and I don't have the hardcovers. Whatever am I going to do? I set my eBay alerts and every time a book was going up for sale, it was selling for $150, $200. And I was like, I'm not paying over cover price for this book. I've been burned too many times. As soon as I pay more than cover, Marvel is going to announce a reprint, even though it just went out of print three months ago. Well, the Omnibus God smiled on me and I was able to find this book in a Facebook group for just $80 shipped. It was my lucky day. And that book is Star Wars by Jason Aaron, the Omnibus, right? Now, of course, as fate would have it, literally two days after I completed the transaction, Marvel announces a reprint. Not only do they announce a reprint, they announce for the first time a direct market cover. Not only is it a direct market cover, it's a direct market cover by Mark Brooks, one of my favorite cover artists, and it is a beautiful image. So, of course, I got a double dip. So maybe I'll sell this one. If you're interested in this book, I'll sell it to you for what I sold uh, or for what I bought it for. $80 shipped gets you this book. Just go ahead and comment and let me know. We'll get it, we'll get it squared away. I'll invoice you on PayPal um, and I'll upgrade later on because Lord knows I need the shelf space anyway. So Star Wars by Jason Aaron. I'm super excited to have that even though it's gonna get reprinted and I'll just read it later on. Speaking of reprints that I really, really needed. So you guys saw me pick up this book in my organic priced books haul. JP decided to send this to me and I could not be more excited. This is the X-Men Age of Apocalypse companion book. So Age of Apocalypse companion, obviously is just stories that are to be told alongside Age of Apocalypse. This is a classic X-Men series where basically everything's flipped on its head. All the mutants you know have turned into versions that you don't quite know. Um, that's about the best way to put it, right? So I was excited to have this companion, but I'm like, dang, I need to find the original because by the time I got this one in the mail, the original one was already like going out of stock on all the discount sites and who wants to pay cover price for a book? So... I went ahead and jumped on Facebook and I saw in a group someone was selling their copy with a slightly damaged uh, dust jacket. And I'm like, I can deal with a slightly damaged dust jacket, especially when I'm only paying $60. That's half of the retail price. And boom, here we go. So this is X-Men, The Age of Apocalypse Omnibus. This is the standard market cover. This is the cover that I wanted by Philip Tan. I just love it. Look at Magneto. Look at Apocalypse. Like, it's just... I love everything about this cover. We got bald, um, <laughs> bald Bishop here. We got Wolverine looking crazy. Look at Gambit. I love that saber tooth and every. This is just a great cover. Anyway, so this collects way too much stuff for me to name. So that <laughs> is X Men: The Age of Apocalypse Omnibus. Some of you asked about if I was going to do omnibus overviews anymore. Chances are I'm not because. I get the books way too late for it to matter in the search engine, but who knows? Maybe I'll start up a membership, and if you guys want to see overviews, that'll be bonus content. You never know. So that's my haul, right? So let's do the, you know, we got to do the thing and stack all these books up. 
uh, dislocated shoulder and all. I mean, it's not dislocated, but man, this is a ridiculous pile of books. So, uh, is there a way to do this? Oh, man. Wow. Wow. So, that's the haul. That's not even all the books. I couldn't fit them all on the screen at the same time, but I hope you saw something you liked. Now, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to pay full price for these books. If you want any of these books, because almost all of them are still in stock at Organic Price Books. So go ahead, check out OrganicPriceBooks.com or just use my custom link below. Use the promo code BJKicks and you will save $2 off every order, every time. That's whether the book is in stock, whether it's back ordered, special ordered, all of that. Make sure you check out the current FOC section for the most or the, for the maximum discount available. And, and, and do not forget about, <laughs> man, I'm out of breath from holding these omnis. That's ridiculous. Do not forget about the Gotham Central Omnibus reprint. Don't forget about the question by Denny O'Neill and Dennis Cowan, the God, the GOAT, Dennis Cowan. Don't forget about those books. Go ahead and make your pre-orders. Get the best discount available. And that book will be at your doorstep on the day or a couple days after release. You can't beat it. Great customer service, great shipping, great packaging. It's bulletproof. And your book will arrive in excellent condition every single time. So shop at Organic Price Books. Use my discount code. Um, I want to know what you guys picked up this month, what out of these books looks the most exciting, what you would love to read, what you think I should read first. So let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, check out the K Squad because we can talk about comics all the time. Links in the description. By the way, all of these books, all these books you can find uh, in my Amazon shop, the small trade paperbacks that you won't find on organic price books. Check them out on Amazon. They're great prices. Um, you know, you always got to deal with the bumps and stuff. But I got a few of these from Amazon and they worked out just fine. So check that out. I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, I hope you saw something you liked. And if not, that's cool because you can always buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.